Hi there, and we are now live here both from Denmark and Macedonia at the same time. We got <laughs> Jabir Derala at the other end. Hi, hi the Jabir. Hi Thomas, nice hi. to see you again. <laughs> the same, yeah. Yabi and I, we met last year while I was in Macedonia. I've lived there before and I was revisiting the place and also last year there was some tension and I'm calling Yabi because in the last couple of weeks there have been other inter-ethnic clashes or protests, different opinions, different sides. So that's why we're speaking to Yabi here today. Jabir is a human rights activist and he's also the chairperson of Civil Center for freedom in Skopje and he has been involved in Macedonia human rights for several years and is also a citizen in, in Macedonia. So Jabir, first of all, can you just in short terms explain what has happened the last couple of weeks? Well, uh, I have to say that uh, Macedonia uh, was facing a deep political crisis that exactly two weeks ago was uh, brought to some uh, conclusion uh, due to uh, very serious uh, EU uh, diplomacy, uh, mm -hmm. EU uh, diplomatic pressure. Uh, namely, the political crisis uh, was about to uh, conclude uh, in, a, in a, s a settlement between the main opposition party and the government uh, coalition, uh, actually the, the ruling party of EMRO, the mm -hmm. Pemane. Uh, no, which is the abbreviation of the of the ruling party. Mm -hmm. uh, very the very same day, uh, I, I believe that the EU diplomats were still in the air on their on their way home. Yes, uh, the uh, a group of uh, young hooligans, uh, nationalists, uh, 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 protested in front of the government uh, against the appointment of the of one of the ministers in the government, uh, namely uh, the Minister of Defence, the new Minister of Defence, Talia Jaferi, who belongs to the uh, DUI, the, the political party in coalition, Albanian political party mm -hmm. in coalition with the ruling party of VMRO. Uh, they protested against him because uh, he used to be a commander, one of the commanders in the UCK, the, the, the Albanian uh, National Liberation uh, uh, Army, which uh, led the, the insurgency of the Albanians in 2001. Yes, exactly. Uh, they op strongly opposed this, and they clashed with the police. And there was uh, uh, there was a number of uh, injured police officers, uh, a number of uh, injured uh, protesters, and uh, uh, several of them were arrested. Yeah, uh, this was this was two two Fridays ago, right? Two Fridays ago. Exactly. Yeah. Um, the, the the hooligans uh, then uh, um, uh, continued with a rampage on the Skopje streets, mm -hmm. uh, injuring uh, uh, seriously five uh, ethnic Albanians, including uh, uh, women and uh, children. Mm -hmm. uh, the the response came the day after on Saturday. Yes, uh, of uh, the the second of March, uh, when. Uh, uh, more than 1,000, maybe about 2,000 young uh, uh, ethnic Albanians, mm -hmm. uh, many of them hooligans uh, and uh, football fan supporters and so on, uh, they uh, went quite violently on those protests and uh, uh, a bus was uh, burned down, uh, many bus stops were demolished, uh, a couple of cars were demolished and so on. Several of them were uh, injured, uh, injured police officers as well, and uh, uh, okay, uh, many of them were arrested uh, mm -hmm. during the, the night after that uh, uh, protests. Uh, all this uh, made a real uh, uh, street fight or a small street war, yeah. uh, uh, quite uh, uh, similar to what we've seen about 12 years ago. Yeah. Uh, during the, the ethnic conflict in, in 2001. Can I, can, I, can I ask one question? First of all, is this something only happening in Skopje or has there been, as you say, street fights in several other cities and, and towns throughout Macedonia? Uh, ethnic tensions uh, are ongoing for quite some time now. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, uh, various uh, levels of violence took took place in many other cities in, in Macedonia, uh, mainly those that are 
uh, ethnically mixed uh, mm -hmm. or inhabited by the most uh, the two more, uh, biggest uh, communities in Macedonia, Macedonia and Albania. Um, we have uh, serious tensions also in Kichewa where both uh, uh, high school students but also some of their parents uh, almost clashed several weeks before that. These, okay. these, these, uh, same same uh, situation in, in, in Struga. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, there are also several other cities and uh, municipalities that uh, suffer from se serious tensions, and yeah. uh, there is a great potential for for uh, for more violence yeah. uh, unless uh, immediate measures to to uh, restore. Uh, uh, tolerance to restore uh, human rights respect and to restore uh, uh, confidence uh, between the two ethnic uh, communities uh, are not taken. I, I believe that uh, uh, all this uh, uh, is uh, a consequence from a, a long-standing nationalistic uh, policy uh, of the current government uh, mm -hmm. has a reason and boosted the national chauvinistic sentiment amongst uh, ethnic Macedonians uh, primarily, but also amongst uh, yeah. ethnic Albanians. We will, we, will, we will come to that point to, to, yeah. to oh. try to find a deeper root. So yeah. you said in Kichivo both pupils and also the parents were participating, but those classes Friday, if we start with the Macedonian, you said hooligans and so on. Who are the people? Are they associated with the Nationalist Party, Vimero de Pemene, and other uh, and other political parties, or, or why are they suddenly showing up at the, in the streets? That's that's quite a good question because uh, right after those protests, uh, the ruling party VMRO uh, came out accusing uh, the, a, a minor uh, political party called Dostoevsky or Dignity. Mm -hmm. um, uh, consisted of uh, ex-combatants uh, uh, mm -hmm. in 2001 on the, the ethnic Macedonian side uh, you know, for these uh, 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 protests, whilst uh, Dostoevsky accused the ruling party that it's actually their hooligans mm -hmm. who are uh, uh, doing this. Uh, so after the protests, actually, we've got a situation in which uh, the opposition and the ruling party uh, were accusing each other of these uh, for uh, for organizing these protests, mm -hmm. these violent protests. Uh, protests, yeah. uh, but, uh, but not really accusing the the, the violence itself. You know, uh, so I wouldn't go into uh, judging who actually organized these yeah. protests, but I can tell you that uh, uh, those are the hooligans that uh, were. Uh, supported, sponsored by the government in the past uh, to go uh, uh, to football or other stadiums and uh, sports centers to support uh, Macedonian teams. Um, uh, Just for, for example, it, when there was a handball in Serbia, the Macedonian state also paid the people to go to Serbia and see the matches. So that's that's what you're aiming that's at. Exactly, that's exactly what I'm talking about. So the government was uh, quite supportive of these of these groups, who are actually groups of hooligans, mm -hmm. uh, uh, who have very. Uh, uh, serious nationalistic, uh, I would even say uh, neo-Nazi uh, approach and uh, also images. Uh, mm -hmm. They are extremists that are not restraining from violence against children and women mm -hmm. or whoever uh, who, that belongs to, to another ethnic community, community, whether it's Albanians or Roma or whoever, mm -hmm. uh, they don't care about it, they just need to uh, spill their hatred and uh, hate speech around, and we, we can see that on the social networks and so on. They are very easily, very, uh, very easily mobilized. They are very, mo uh, they are very uh, mobile. They are very uh, uh, nervous, I would say, and mm -hmm. uh, um, uh, very easily get on the street. They they are excellently. Uh, equipped uh, uh, with uh, um, truncheons, uh, sticks, baseball sticks, and uh, other uh, requisites for for violent uh, 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 violent protest or what mm -hmm. violent uh, 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 clash with with any any group, including uh, the police. They they were quite yeah. uh, uh, energetic in this in this clash with the police.
So, Happy, that's how you're explaining um, this one side. 66% uh, of the people living in Macedonia will call themselves Macedonians. Then there are around 25%, there hasn't been a recent census, but let's say around 25% that are will call themselves ethnic Albanians. You said that last Saturday around 2,000 youngsters protested Albanians. And who were they and why were they protesting? They were mainly young, uh, many of them minor on both sides, Macedonians and Albanians. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, on the Albanian, ethnic Albanian uh, side, uh, we could see many of them minors, and mm -hmm. uh, were minors, and uh, quite a few of them are actually uh, the hooligans uh, supporting uh, the Albanian ethnic Albanian football teams. Okay, yeah. So. Uh, uh, Despite the, the the statement that was given by one of the uh, leaders of these youngsters amongst Albanians, uh, who said that uh, they want to go for peaceful protest, that they want to uh, uh, go for uh, protesting against violence against uh, uh, against uh, women and children, the night before that took place uh, the night before. Uh, these uh, protests uh, uh, of the Albanians went violent, as violent or even uh, more violent than the mm -hmm. one before. Uh, and after that, the Albanian, the ruling uh, Albanian party, the UI, accused the, the, the opposition party, Albanian party, DPA, of mm -hmm. organizing or infiltrating this uh, peaceful protest. Uh, uh, and, and turning it into a, into a violent one. Uh, although DPA, the opposition party, then accused the ruling Albanian party of mm -hmm. uh, the violence and uh, of, uh, in the same time, of a betrayal of the, the basic Albanian interests in the country. Yes. country. So, uh, what we see here is uh, intra ethnic accusation of political parties uh, yes. accusing one another of this violence. Uh, whilst I believe that uh, their rhetoric, their uh, practices, uh, their programs are actually the one uh, that are uh, the cause of this of this of this violence. Uh, uh, from what we saw of these uh, youngsters protesting violently, yes. so violently, mm -hmm. we can see that the the youth in Macedonia, both Macedonian and Albanian youth, are completely out of control. Mm -hmm. They are prone to violence, and they don't have any uh, boundary that uh, they see when it comes to violence. I believe that uh, also religion has to play a role there, especially if we speak about the Albanian protest that uh, mm -hmm. took place after the 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 the, the Juma or the the uh, prayers uh, in the mosques. Uh, Many of the Macedonian ethnic Macedonians uh, uh, who protested on Friday to to Fridays ago, mm. uh, they were uh, also a, a part of being ethnically driven. They were also uh, driven by the the, the Orthodox uh, Christian religious uh, drive and uh, carrying uh, this uh, um, uh, character as well. So this is not only interethnic but also an interreligious. Uh, mm -hmm. Conflict is going be on. Because Macedonians will mainly be Orthodox Christians. There are also Macedonians who are Muslims. That's a side story. And then you have Albanians, Turks, Romas can be divided, but Albanians and Turk and Bosniaks, a small percent of Bosniaks as well, they will be mainly Muslim, right? Yeah, also, Vlachs, Egyptians, uh, a very small uh, community of uh, Croatians. Mm -hmm. Also, Jewish communities uh, here. We have a, a, a multitude of, of ethnic communities in Macedonia yeah. uh, that are between those 60 something percent and 25 something uh, Albanians, Macedonians, Albanians, respectively. Mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, many of them uh, uh, are religious and they belong to either Christian or uh, uh, Muslim religion, but uh, there are all, there is also a number of uh, of Protestants and uh, some Catholics, and okay, the Jewish community is also there. Mm -hmm. uh, 
So uh, it's quite a quite a colorful uh, country in, in terms of ethnic uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, communities or ethnic composition, but also in religious com uh, uh, composition. Um, well, that uh, can all all be turned into into a great quality of the country, but uh, unfortunately, due to politics, uh, we see a completely opposite situation in which uh, violence is quite a great uh, potential that is that is laying below the surface of what is going on in Macedonian in the Macedonian politics. And and you're saying due to politics because it is actually this way that. In government right now, you have both a Macedonian and an Albanian political party. Ever since Macedonia was split from Yugoslavia, there have been political parties also divided into ethnicities. So you have had all your um, governments have been coalition governments, and now right you have a some would say right wing but at least nationalistic uh, Macedonian party, Vemero Depemene, and then you have this. Uh, DUI on the Albanian side and they're actually functioning in a government and at the same time you're accusing them of having their own nationalistic, chauvinistic um, rhetoric and speech. How can this functioning at all? They're That's supposed not, to work together. Sounds quite crazy. I, 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 I see that uh, madness every day when I, when I wake up uh, in a country which uh, looks quite schizophrenically if you if you look at it you know, from outside but also from inside mm -hmm. uh, although we got used to this uh, the, what happens is that the ethnic Macedonian political party which is in power Vimero, uh, and a few other coalition very smaller very small uh, insignificant political parties that are in that coalition mm -hmm. including a Roma party if you wish uh, mm -hmm. uh, or a Turkish party is also in the coalition and, and so on and so on this still does not uh, uh, stop the, the the ruling Macedonian party to uh, carry on with its uh, uh, highly nationalistic policy, and uh, when it uh, when it becomes a practice and everyday uh, uh, life uh, of, of people is actually uh, filled with uh, uh, national uh, uh, supremacy uh, by the by the Macedonian bloc in the government mm -hmm. because they, they they have all the keys. They have the, the finances, they, they have all the keys, and they carry on with the Skopje 2014 project, which is a, 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 a tremendous, as, as stupid, as expensive uh, project, and uh, as uh, nationalistic as well, uh, which uh, costed uh, so far half a billion of euros, uh, mm -hmm. this, uh, the, the, the taxpayers of Macedonia. Now, what we see there is that uh, whilst the ethnic Macedonian party is taking care of, of its own nationalism and boosting it up, on the other side, the, the ethnic Albanian DUI, Democratic Union of Integration, it also uh, takes care of, uh, of its uh, image amongst the Albanians. And how do they do that? They usually go with ethni uh, ethnic or nationalistic uh, practice as well. So mm -hmm. they build monuments on the other side, uh, monuments of, of people who are um, uh, uh, an emblem of the ethnic uh, Albanian nationalism or mm -hmm. ethnic national prides and so on uh, from the history and so on, the, the, the songs, the culture, the TV uh, programs and so on uh, are also co-funded by the government, uh, uh, actually by the Albanian part of the government. So what we see is actually two nationalistic, opposite nationalistic uh, uh, streams, political streams that are uh, uh, functioning in, in, uh, in a strange coalition but they both uh, uh, boost the nationalism on their own sides yeah. uh, in order to, to keep the, 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 the ratings, in order to keep the power and uh, keep the solutions of real problems of people aside from, uh, from their interest uh, and uh, filling, uh, filling in the gaps exactly with nationalism, if, yeah. if, if I express my, myself well. And, and this situation has also been noted uh, in, in the European Union, because Macedonia in some way is on a way, on a European path. And you said that two weeks ago there were some diplomats still in the air while the classes were going down on the earth. And among these diplomats was uh, Stephen Fuel, the Enlargement Commissioner. And he has stated earlier this year that 
that the things were going wrong in Macedonia. And the one thing that he was mentioning at that time is that your parliament has more or less not been functioning since uh, December last year when the opposition was more or less thrown out of the parliament and... Not more or less, they were forcefully thrown out of the parliament. They were forcefully by thrown violence, out of the... By violence, oh. by use of... excessive use of power, excessive use of police power, actually police uh, from outside the parliament entered the parliament and uh, uh, forcefully throw, threw out the opposition. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, MPs and the journalists. And the journalists as well. So this is the, the opposition, for example, being the Social Democrats, you would call them, the Macedonian opposition party was thrown out of parliament along with journalists and other MIP, yes. MEPs, yes. yes. And basically, uh, this is also then a, 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 a political uh, conflict that has been ongoing the last couple of months, and there was then supposed to be local elections, then they said that they wouldn't participate, but after the diplomats visited, they said, okay, we can participate participate yeah. in local election. That's more or less that's the short versions of this. Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And it was a rather severe political crisis that was going on for two months until the, the EU diplomats mm -hmm. uh, uh, facilitated uh, or pushed for a settlement between the, the, the opposition and the, 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 the ruling party, uh, mainly uh, by promising that there will be a commission, independent commission, to, to find out the facts about the 24th okay. September uh, yeah. the, uh, violence, and as well uh, that there will be a talk about early parliamentary election. So this is happening on the one thing, and then you have this announcement of Talat Khafiri, sorry for maybe pronouncing his name incorrectly, yes. uh, as, as defense minister, am I right? Uh, I mean, isn't this, isn't this the reason for the thing happening, appointing him, or is there any other explanation? What, what do you see this appointment uh, of him as yes defense no. minister? Yes and no. Why? Because uh, Talat Khafiri was a, a deputy defense minister in 2002. Okay. And yeah. He was a very high official for a number of years, mm -hmm. and nobody protested then. Only one year after the bloody conflict, mm -hmm. and uh, all of a sudden, twelve years after, where he is appointed a minister, uh, while before that he was a he was a coordinator of the parliamentary group and so on and so on. All of a sudden, it becomes a great problem. So mm -hmm. there is a problem there. There must be some reason standing behind these uh, these uh, violent uh, protests against his appointment as a defense minister now, uh, whilst he used to be, as I said, a very high official also in in, in the past, yeah. very soon yeah. after the the, the 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 armed conflict. So uh, I believe this is this is uh, rather uh, a consequence from uh, uh, ethnic. Uh, uh, policies that was uh, that were uh, uh, served uh, in the in the past several years by the by the ruling uh, coalition, mm -hmm. mainly by the, the ruling ethnic Macedonian party. Mm -hmm. I believe that uh, the people's uh, sentiment, nationalistic sentiment, it has risen tremendously in the last several years, mm -hmm. uh, and it is due to governmental policies. It's uh, due to institutional policies. Uh, which uh, severely uh, 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 surpass any kind of democratic uh, or rule of uh, democratic practice or rule of law. Human rights and uh, freedoms are seriously violated on daily basis at institutional level. Uh, the freedom of speech, uh, independence of media, um, uh, several other uh, segments uh, that are crucial for democratic mm -hmm. life in, in, a, in a country, in any country, are suspended. So uh, it's more or less normal that people get uh, all of a sudden uh, startled or uh, angry or furious about this or that uh, uh, act uh, by the, the coalition partner in the government. Nobody mm -hmm. asked uh, why the prime minister agreed to appoint to this appointment, but they just go directly against uh, the the defense minister, the new defense minister. 
there yeah. must be something suspicious. And I'm <coughs> sorry, and I, I'm quite surprised, uh, badly surprised by by the, the the awareness of the government of the of the citizens in in the country mm -hmm. that, that can so easily uh, become victims of uh, spins and uh, manipulations by the government and uh, by the government coalition partners on both Macedonia and Albania mm -hmm. side. Do you see what I mean? I don't know if I express myself well. Yeah, but when you say that the human rights are being violated on an institutional level, what do you mean? On a, what do you mean concrete with that? Well, starting with uh, with uh, the freedom of speech, uh, it's been uh, quite a quite a long practice in which uh, people were taken accountable, uh, were taken uh, guilty for expressing their own uh, opinion. Mm -hmm. uh, people who would uh, uh, go for their own opinion, which would be uh, opposite to the one of the uh, ruling parties, would be under severe pressure, uh, either uh, under uh, accused uh, or uh, <coughs> sorry, uh, uh, processed in courts uh, or dismissed from uh, from uh, jobs or many other uh, serious pressures at institutional level. When I speak about the violation of human rights uh, at institutional level, we'll, I also speak about uh, the ethnic uh, communities being discriminated at institutional mm -hmm. level, uh, in courts, uh, in administration, <coughs> in the educational system. Uh, uh, still there is uh, 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 d discrimination. Discrimination against gender uh, uh, against women is also there because the government is uh, running campaigns that uh, treat Mas uh, treat uh, Macedonian uh, uh, females as uh, reproductive uh, uh, tools only. Uh, we are talking about uh, uh, occupying most of the the electronic media, mainly TV stations and and, and newspapers. Uh, they are now under almost complete governmental control. Uh, corrupting uh, the, the the media in various ways, but also putting them under severe pressure. Since uh, uh, a couple of, uh, mm -hmm. of years on, we witnessed closure of two TV stations, uh, closure of three uh, daily newspapers, and uh, several other uh, problems that uh, actually uh, uh, tackle the, 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 the independence of media. Mm -hmm. I'm, uh, I'm not talking only about the independence of media, we are also talking about a general atmosphere in which people are afraid to speak their minds, people are afraid from the financial police, uh, people are afraid to go uh, to become a, a smaller or bigger entrepreneurs because uh, the corruption or the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the practice of the government is to only tolerate or support its own members and that would be it. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, regarding the, 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 the minority rights which are part of the, the human rights and freedoms, we have uh, the serious uh, violation of, uh, uh, of the rights of the smaller communities than the Macedonian and Albanian as well. Mm -hmm. and, uh, here I, only, uh, I mainly speak about uh, the Roma population. <coughs> Sorry. Yes. Religious rights are also uh, or, or, uh, restricted to only rights of the, 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 the main uh, Orthodox uh, Church and mm -hmm. okay uh, tolerated the Islamic uh, uh, community, but all the others are uh, set aside in the margins of the of the religious life of the country. Uh, when uh, we come to uh, to this uh, point, we also witnessed uh, 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 the arrestation and and and, uh, and accusations against. Uh, 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 an Orthodox uh, uh, leader of a smaller church, that uh, uh, Vranishkovsky case, uh, I believe you're familiar with it, uh, which uh, maybe has some corruptive or criminal elements in this process, but uh, m m uh, the way it was it was led, uh, it mainly could be seen as uh, uh, a process against somebody who dared to oppose the main, the ruling Orthodox church. Mm -hmm. which uh, uh, in the last uh, several years we see becomes one uh, uh, with the government. So the secular character of the character of the, of the country has been violated as well because the church is now 
seriously uh, getting involved in 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 the state uh, business in the state affairs. Mm -hmm. So uh, I can I can I can uh, number a uh, number uh, many other yes other, uh, yes uh, uh, such as uh, we we see excessive excessive uh, use of uh, police force in many cases mm -hmm. uh, the treatment of people in police uh, custody in police station or in communication with the police is still uh, highly problematic uh, when we uh, uh, speak about uh, financial or, or commercial freedoms we also see discrimination there. Uh, uh, um, and uh, we uh, we have noticed a, a serious violation of human rights uh, uh, of workers in Macedonia. It's a massive violation of uh, so many people, such a large group mm. of people. Uh, if you look at the, the governmental uh, policy uh, already in 2006, seven years ago, uh, when uh, the ruling party took power for the first time, uh, they actually, in their own program uh, that was announced publicly and uh, uh, was uh, ran as a part of campaign, were uh, selling uh, the the cheap labor of Macedonia to foreign investors, mm -hmm. uh, um, openly openly announcing that they will treat uh, uh, Macedonian workers as cheap labor or. Uh, even as slaves, if you wish, because mm -hmm. uh, many, many, many uh, workers in Macedonia really have uh, uh, treatment uh, almost as slaves, uh, being paid too little, uh, being treated uh, badly, and uh, not having a single support at an institutional level to 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 have a place where to heal or to sit. Mm -hmm. The justice system is uh, is uh, is extremely corrupted. And uh, it is uh, a place where, uh, if you don't have money or influence or both, then you can uh, easily count on uh, uh, bad uh, consequences against you if you are uh, caught in a process. Uh, mm. in the courts, the courts are one of the the places where where the the people are uh, people's rights are, are also uh, violated at every, in every sense. <laughs> So you basically draw on a picture of a state that is going in many ways the wrong direction, but how come the wrong direction? You got independence in 1991, and then 10 years after you have more or less a civil war in 2001. The years prior to 2001, there was actually domestic growth in Macedonia. Macedonia has never been a rich part of the former Yugoslavia, but at that time there were some kind of growth. And at and and even though beside you have this growth, you have more or less a, a civil war, and you explain that though there's been an agreement, you just see things worsening the last couple of years. Why is why hasn't it gone the right direction for Macedonia? You're <laughs> asking a one million dollar question now. Uh, well, I think this is all a consequence of uh, wrong policies. Mm -hmm. uh, um, Political parties are uh, seriously uh, uh, having the, the 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 responsibility for this kind of situation because mostly they are uh, unsuccessful in providing uh, better life for uh, for all of the citizens, all citizens equally in the country uh, when they are in power. Yeah. And uh, when when things go wrong, then they find the, uh, the 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 nationalism as a as a tool to remain in power, but for, with fire. Uh, for example, one one third of uh, the population in Macedonia is uh, is unemployed, and that's the official numbers. I mean, yes. many are without a job, and the youth uh, unemployment. If you hear about Spain, Spain is more or less nothing compared to Macedonia. It's hard to find an official number, but I saw a number from the CIA World Factbook stating that uh, around half of the youth were, were out of job as well. So unemployment and, and, and being poor is, is a big problem in Macedonia. Uh, unemployment is a big problem in Macedonia since the beginning, mm -hmm. especially from the pro problematic uh, transitional privatization of uh, people's factories in the, in the early 90s. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, uh, unemployment, health system, education system, 
infrastructure in the country. These are all problems that uh, uh, that none of the governments, uh, uh, especially the, the latest government, have never tried to solve in a uh, relevant manner, mm -hmm. uh, uh, in a manner of uh, respecting the interests of all citizens equally in the country. When they uh, don't succeed to solve the, the problems of all of them together, they mm -hmm. find ways to divide them and mm -hmm. then remain in power while using the, the negative consequences they, the, of their own policies if you see what I mean. Mm -hmm. so in Spain it is a different situation, but in Macedonia, if the government doesn't uh, succeed to uh, solve the problem of, uh, uh, of, let's say, unemployment, then it finds ways to say, well, unemployment cannot be sol solved, but we can build beautiful monuments to boost your own national uh, pride, and if uh, anybody in the country decides to oppose it, then smash their heads. Mm -hmm. So that's where the, the, the ethnic uh, uh, division uh, comes and nationalistic uh, rhetoric mm -hmm. only, only boosts it up and violence uh, comes, comes on the streets. Yes. Local elections are on its way in two, three weeks from now. Um, weeks. Two weeks from now. What do you see can happen? Uh, will this violence further escalate or what do you see? See how do you see the situation? Well, as I said, nationalism is a tool in the in the hands of the of the political parties. Uh, in uh, absence of real political pro programs, uh, how to improve the, the lives of the citizens, then nationalism is there. We mm -hmm. see now a very interesting situation in which the the, the uh, biggest opponents amongst the Macedonian uh, political parties, uh, VMRO and the Social Democrats are together in Kichawa and in Struga because mm -hmm. they want to elect an ethnic Macedonian mayor mm -hmm. regardless who, of who it is uh, or what kind of qualities this person uh, uh, brings uh, they want uh, a mayor who is an ethnic Macedonian mm -hmm. uh, the, the Albanians uh, are bringing people from the diaspora uh, who have biometric uh, documents to vote for an Albanian uh, a candidate for mayor, mm -hmm. uh, regardless of what kind of programs or what kind of qualities this person has, it needs to be an Albanian for them. Mm -hmm. So uh, the, the the tensions are high, and uh, these uh, elections are already quite problematic in many aspects. Mm -hmm. And yes, we are having a problematic electoral process at this point. Uh, uh, and I believe that uh, uh, although they are called local elections, uh, we are talking about uh, everything but uh, not about local problems or mm -hmm. programs or solutions to mm -hmm. the, at municipal level. We are talking about uh, national and ethnic uh, issues uh, in, these, in these elections. And these elections might be an introduction into a longer or even deeper uh, political crisis after they are over and uh, possibly we are facing another problematic uh, parliamentary elections process uh, mm -hmm. right after that or only a few months after that. Mm -hmm. So in 2001 some people will call it a civil war, some people will say that it was there, in today's words, they use the word terrorist among these Albanians, um, rebels. Uh, um, at that time, you also had the, the war going on in Kosovo, and there were like people coming in and out the borders, and in, there were more weapons at that time in, in the Balkan region. Is the situation the same as in 2001, or how is it different from then? No. Uh, the, the feeling is uh, sometimes the same <laughs> because uh, the, the nationalism is still here and the division is still here. Uh, the circumstances are rather different now. The, 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 the overall security situation in the country, in the, in the region is different now. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, the risks are still very high. Uh, in 2001, uh, it was it was a war. It was a short six, seven months long war, but it was a war, of course. 
and uh, whatever it's called, uh, it it costed lives. It costed, uh, it costed people's lives. It costed people's uh, uh, futures, and uh, it costed the country even deeper division than it used to be before. Now we live in a in a time in which uh, the economic crisis is really deep. Uh, the the institutions of the system don't work proper, properly because they are highly politicized, and uh, we live in a time when uh, people are divided more than ever mm -hmm. along ethnic lines, but also intra ethnically they are also quite seriously divided along uh, along political party lines, mm -hmm. which all gives a situ a picture of a country which is in in a in a deep trouble, and I I believe I believe that uh, the, the the regional context is different, but the the security risk can be very high in case uh, uh, the if, if the ethnic violence takes place and if the police or riot police uh, uh, doesn't manage to divide them in time, then after. Uh, after uh, people get killed, then I don't know what will happen. Mm -hmm. uh, so far, there are no uh, victims. I mean, there are victims of violence, but no uh, dead people. Uh, if that happens, I think that we are uh, we are facing even deeper security crisis crisis than 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 we than we are now. Mm -hmm. And you said. No victims, no killings. Uh, no this killings. Year, yeah. Okay. Uh, and no last year there was in 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 Gostivar, a, a, a city in the in the north or the western part of Macedonia, a policeman killed an ethnic Albanian. Then two. later two, two yeah. yeah. And later on there were five fishermen, ethnic Macedonians, who were killed by some persons who are now being trialed, ethnic. Albanians as well, and also people interpret interpreted this as um, ethnic uh, violence. And and afterwards, there were some statements on uh, on the internet, like people taking claiming they they did it, and they were fighting for Albanian freedoms rights uh, rights. This last um, thing going on in the f in, towards uh, the fishermen. These are these are uh, tragic incidents. Uh, uh, these are incidents that uh, all, only prove that uh, Macedonia is extremely fragile. Mm -hmm. But still, uh, these are two isolated incidents uh -huh. that uh, took uh, some uh, part of, of uh, in, 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 in a certain way, they have uh, ended up in courts. Mm -hmm. but, uh, when I said no killings took place, I, I meant if two groups of people clash on the streets yes. and victims, uh, I mean, killings take place, I think that we are going to uh, face uh, a much more serious uh, crisis uh, after, after such incident or after such, yeah. such a tragedy. I, I hope it will not happen, but if it does, then, uh, then uh, I believe that it will be much more serious than it's now, and now it's already quite serious. Yeah, and do you think it will happen? Well, I hope not. So mm. I don't want to say. No, and what can prevent it from from happening? What should take? I think that the government and the political parties in general uh, must immediately take uh, measures to restore confidence amongst people, amongst various ethnic mm -hmm. groups uh, and communities in Macedonia. The government has to show, manifest, serious political will to, uh, to fix the, the errors in the, in the past several years. I don't think they will succeed, but mm -hmm. that would be the, the solution. To change practices and policies. Yes. yes, and your organization, as well as other non-governmental organizations, are also taking part in the debate. Are also protesting for human rights and coexistence, uh, being out on the streets. What will you do during the local elections here, the upcoming weeks? 
we have we have quite a quite a massive project going on now. It's called free and nonviolent elections. At the moment, there are 130 people in the field throughout mm -hmm. whole the whole country, monitoring the situation, reporting on the situation on a daily basis. Uh, we are also running a campaign on, uh, on free and nonviolent elections uh, in media, both new media and traditional media, and uh, we are. Uh, 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 contacting the journalists and then uh, making pre uh, 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 issuing press releases about about the, the the developments, about the incidents, about the violation of the of the electoral uh, principles and, uh, and democracy, and we we are trying to to prevent uh, 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 any violence taking place in the electoral process. Uh, so far, not serious uh, violence took place in the uh, uh, in the context of the of the elections. Uh, a part of these two incidents two weeks ago, although yes. uh, uh, some some say they are not related, and, uh, which is wrong. Uh, so that's what we are doing at the moment. Uh, parallel to this, we are uh, getting out on, on the streets. We already had one one uh, one rally. A week ago, when when we called for for peace and peaceful resolution of mm. problems, uh, uh, trying to prevent uh, 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 kids and uh, and uh, hooligans get uh, get on the street again, which I hope that we contributed to uh, 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 somehow, uh, because not uh, none uh, none of them uh, took place after that that uh, rally. The rally was uh, uh, not attended. Uh, by by a lot of people, but it was uh, quite visible on the media. Mm. Uh, I think media helped us a lot uh, in spreading around the, the message. But also, uh, these sixteen NGOs that joined my organization uh, also helped a lot amongst their uh, their their members mm. and also on their mailing list on the social networks. But we are trying to to to. Uh, occupy the, the the new media, the social networks as well, uh, by peaceful messages, and uh, that's that's uh, what we are trying to to do uh, from hour to hour, not to let the space to mm -hmm. to hooligans and and uh, crazy guys who hate uh, others just because uh, they are others or different. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, that's that's more or less what we do. Uh, but uh, we don't have the, all the tools, all the instruments at, at hand. What we have is the goodwill, and we have the internet, and uh, we have our shoes to walk on the streets. Mm. Uh, even if we don't have shoes, I believe we will, we will walk, of course, on the streets and, and, and say and talk to people, uh, spread the word. But uh, I think that the government has the instruments to make this, a, to turn this into a practice, mm. to turn this into a uh, natural situation that everyone is respected. That the political opponent is not uh, is not an enemy. Uh, it's a it's a it's an it's a person that you can talk to. To uh, it's a, it's an interlocutor, if you mm. wish. And moreover, a political opponent can become a partner uh, uh, that could work together with you uh, for the benefit of, of the citizens. What we have here uh, is political parties defending their own interests mm. and trying to gain power by any means. Yes. Thank you, Yabia Derella, for participating in this longer interview than we expected. And good luck the next upcoming weeks with the local election and your and your organization's work. Thank you very much indeed. Yeah. Bye. Bye.